I can't go down there, but maybe it's because of that turn ahead. It's not recommended. Yeah, we'll follow the Ray McNally anyway. We'll just... This, this what I'm on now is an approved truck route. That may not be. It may not have a posted sign, but it may not be legal for me to be on, so I'm not going to go on there. The good news is we got a load right away. The good news, it's a basically a 2100 mile run. Going out to uh, Kent, Washington, Washington State, and that's all the way up, you know, you know, as an up near uh, Tacoma, if I remember correctly. You know, a little bit south of Seattle. Sorry. You know, I was thinking more. I was thinking a little further south. Well, basically halfway between Seattle and Tacoma. So we're gonna be going up the uh, Snoqualmie. More than, yeah, more than likely I'll go up Snoqualmie. So the first thing we got to do is deadhead from Oklahoma City, about 100, 110 miles up to uh, up to Tulsa. So go head up the uh, head up I-44. And the bad news is it doesn't deliver until Wednesday. So 
so we got it and also we don't pick up until four o'clock today which kind of sucks but you know you idiots want to slow the hell down damn you slam on them brakes when you get to the bottom of the hill I, I didn't, that just not was not appealing to me to be pulling out there in front of those kinds of idiots All right, now, like I said, twenty one hundred miles, excellent. Went good West Coast run, excellent. Delivering on Wednesday of next week, not so excellent. But you know what? What can you do? You know. Building materials, that's all it says. Well, <clears throat> North Mingo Road, Tosa, Oklahoma. First thing we'll do, we'll just get up here to this uh, Flying J up here. See, it's 125 right now. Just about two hours to get up there. We'll have a couple minutes to, you know, find out where we need to be. Let's see, so today is the 28th. The 28th. 29th, 30th, 1st, 2nd third so five days to go 2100 miles three ninth 30th first second yeah five days to, to get up there now like you know the, the truck's tracking straight it's not pulling me left or right and look out the windows, out the into the mirrors, all my other tires look okay. So it leaves one thing, the road. 70 miles an hour, yay, let's speed up. Okay, well a news update. The gentleman in charge of recruiting well, at least for my application. Who was supposed to call me either Wednesday or Thursday. Today is not in the office. And won't be back until Monday. So I'm left up in the air whether I'm, I'm approved to come over to the new company or not
our day is almost done. See, see the rain up ahead? So not too, uh, we're timing, our time is pretty good. One mile. Station is a drive-by station, so we'll see if it passes me or not. Lyman, Chamber of Commerce welcomes you. I get close enough to actually be able to see the individual letters. Looks like it says close to me. because it was there. So. Three, five, nine. Yeah, 
Deli, pepperonis, pepperonis pizza parlor. So let's go get ourselves parkified. That's always a, uh, a thing to do. No parking right there, so we'll go around the, uh, over here. Yeah, there's a spot right on the end there we could go to. this wide we got this old Ford here we can park next to but we'll, we'll take this spot on the curb over here I think an old Ford 9000 flat top got the big old pipes on it well, can I get in there I don't think I can get in there can I get down that curb no I'm not gonna get in on the curb Oh, maybe. No, I get on the curb. Just look, look a little smaller than, uh, you know, from the side there. So, yeah. There's enough room to get in. We only really have one neighbor to worry about. Unless somebody decides to park right in front of me, but as long as they park forward enough to where I can get out in the morning, I think we'll be all okay. All right. 